Hopefully, hopefully the chat will start working before long. If it's, if it's uh, that is, if it's not working now, I can't tell. How do I tell? If Dale Kwan doesn't talk, she's the only one in the chat room. She doesn't talk. I have no way of knowing. Uh, let's see. Let's just do this. Better mute this. Otherwise, it'll get ugly real fast. Oh, look, I'm broadcasting. Let's see if there's a chat. Chat. Chatting now. There's nobody chatting. If they're chatting, it's... I can't see it. Okay. Back to what I was doing. That is so exciting. It is so exciting watching people handle technical stuff at the beginning of a video. Things that I have had plenty of time to work out. Because you know we had the pre-so sing-along where I played... It's just on my camera. Where I played the... <laughs> where I played the music while I'm setting up. But I'm set up. But I want to show you something. You can see behind me. Last week we did the uh, last week we did the, the uh, drying rack for the for the for the paintings, and I want to show you what I walked into. What I've walked into for the last few days, because I have I have uh, not done my. Hang on a minute. Can't let you see my super secret passcode, but I have not done my proper cleaning after the fact so here is what I have walked in on for the last couple of days this has been the studio behind me for the last couple of days you can see my miter saw is on the ground you can see my my uh, uh, jigsaws on the table back there behind me my nail guns back there you can see all that stuff set up back there you, you can see the dogs in the way and you can see all that stuff check this out Beautiful young bride. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I don't know where to look. There. And then this was the table. This was the table when I came out here to work. So I couldn't I couldn't do anything. Come here, babe. Okay. Hi. Hang on, let's get it on camera so people believe that you're So people actually, believe that I people actually like, like you. I know. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Okay, so... Hi, everybody. Sorry. So, this is what I've been walking into. And so what I was thinking about doing was I was going to do a, a, a brief $2 Tuesday tutorial. Now I don't feel like separating the video out. So I'm just going to tell you, clean your space up. I, I know better. I know better. When you're done working on a project, clean your space up. Because if you don't clean your space up, when you come back to work, you can't. you don't have anything to do. And it's just completely disheartening. When you don't have a place to work. So my morning drawings, right? Come out here for my morning drawings. First thing in the morning, and all I want to do is sit down and draw, and I can't because there's crap in the way. Well, shoot, can't draw. Right, you just can't. Your, your mood's shot. You, just, you found the excuse you need to not do it, right? Come back in the afternoon, and well, there's too many other pressing things in the afternoon. We've got to feed the family. got to play with the kids, help the kids with their homework. We've got to work on the projects, do the honeydews, all that other stuff. And you, and you don't get around to it, and the next day rolls around. Still can't get to your art bench. Still can't get to your workspace. Still can't do what you need to do. And I know better. I was a welder for a long time. I know better. Put your tools away. Clean up at the end of the day and put everything away. I know better. But here it is. Left. And, I, and it's just now cleaned out just enough so that I can get around and do this. <laughs> but hey, let me show you. Let me show you how this turned out. Let me see if I can get this camera turned over to that. Well, that's pretty close. I don't want you to get sick with me moving the cameras around. But so I'm going to try and move the camera before um it looks like it's crooked. It is crooked. Well, it's just going to have to be crooked then. I'm taller than that. <laughs> Not by much. Okay, let's see. So here's the drying rack. And you can see that it's, uh, it's wicked stable. 
It's got 12 slots. I, I kind of had to take it back apart because there's some things that I, I measured. I measured right for the measurements that I had, but I measured wrong for what I got. For instance, these things were supposed to be exactly 30 inches apart, 30 inches wide, and they're not exactly 30 inches wide. Some of them are 30 and a quarter, some of them are 30 and three quarter, they're not exactly 30 inches wide. And I didn't take that into account when I built this. And so I had to take some of it apart <clears throat> and redo it. And then I had to put a brace down the middle of each row to add some stability. But once I did all that, I have a drying rack where I can take my wet paintings and I can lay them flat in the drying rack and go away. And so I can have all of these in prep and one to finish and one to frame and, and keep going. And so every Saturday I've got one to work on and I just continue to prep and work on one, continue to prep and work on one. So that's going to come in real handy to help me along my path to be a more prolific painter like I wanted to do. Plus it gave me a project to make me feel kind of manly for a couple of days. Put it on wheels so it rolls around. Anyway, it's nice and stable. You can see it's nice and stable. It turned out really nice. And it's all made of it's all made of uh, furring strips. So, I mean, wood-wise, there's, prob there's probably $25 worth of wood and $300 worth of tools. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, <clears throat> okay. So, that was last week. This week, on the Artistic Biker, we're going to, uh, we're going to work in the book again. And I have been reading, the little girl finally convinced me to read her favorite book of all time, which is the big, it's actually the BFG, but where I come from, BFG stands for something different, but what it stands for here is The Big Friendly Giant by Roald Dahl, right there. And so, there was a line in there that kind of struck, struck a nerve with me, so I'll tell you what, let me get the... Uh, I, let's uh, let's let's go ahead and get the page primed, and we'll talk about it. Let me get the intro to the YouTube video. I'm kind of confused because I don't know if I want to continue putting out the high speed videos. I can't tell that anybody's watching them. I get six to eight views on those, but the two hour, three hour videos that I put out, hundred views. People watch them. They may not watch them all the way through, but people watch them. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with this one. Beer. But I tell you what I did have to do. I had to turn the music off because last week I left the music on and the uh, YouTube police hit me and it was instantaneous when the YouTube police hit me up for uh, copyright violations and I couldn't have the video in other countries because of copyright violations. So... I don't know. There, there has to be some kind of happy medium there where people can listen to a radio while they do stuff without being, without having their, their videos restricted to certain countries. But I don't know. So no music today while we sort through all this nonsense. Also, my kills is kind of dried out, and my sprayer is in the other room. Let me, I gotta go grab my sprayer real quick. Hang on. And I don't have a little girl just to tell you the same, just to tell the same to you. My wife has lost the dogs out here with me. All that time, had all that time to prepare, but now I spent it, I spent it clearing out a space to work. As we were talking about earlier, I had left my 
I had left my uh, studio in disrepair. Come back and didn't have a place to work. So I didn't get to spend my time prepping the space, prepping for the show. I spent my time making room to walk around and get things done. Which, again, goes back to this camera is too tight on this book. There we go. Which, again, goes back to clean up, clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Now, Barney people get me. Copyright violation. Let them clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere, clean up, clean up. Everybody do their shit. Alright. That should have the page nice and sealed. And then let me dry this real quick. What's everybody been up to? It's been kind of a slow week around here. The things I want to talk about, I can't talk about. Because it's either day job related or it's related to the wife's birthday. It's just coming up. It's I'm excited about. So there's that part. It goes pretty fast. Everybody put your masks on. It's important that you wear your masks while you do this part. I think what's more important than that is covering up your brushes and pencils. Look how pretty that is. I mean, look how pretty that is. Ooh, I better open a door. Hang on. Get a little ventilation in here. Half the fun is waiting to see if I'm going to pass out this time. I know that. Let's see. Let's see if we can evaporate some of that off of there. Scarecrow. That works like a charm, drying that right up. <laughs> Makes my wife a nervous wreck, but hey. Dries it right, dries it right up. Hmm. Okay. How about a little fire, Scarecrow? 
let's see what we can do with this. We might be able to have some fun with this, I'm thinking. I'm ready to throw all of these crappy paints out. Yes. Yes, indeed I am. Really, is that the only green we have? It looks like it. All right. Got to keep it wet. Got to keep it wet. Back on there. Put that back on there. I don't know how paint gets all over the studio. You can't, you can't see me flinging the brush around back here. Okay, keep it wet. It's everywhere when you do stuff like this, though. Because I'm trying to move so fast. I'm trying to get. I gotta. I gotta hurry before the paint sets up. I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't stay a paste. And at the same time. You know, I don't really want to mix it. I want to leave it. I want to leave it like that. And then okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Work your magic. That'll be fine. I think that'll be fine. <sighs> you know, if I had glitter, that's if I had glitter, that'd be exactly what I envisioned. It's going to take a little while for that to dry. I thought about building a drying box with a heat lamp and a fan. So I could just take the whole thing and lay it over in. And then having something else to work on in the meantime. I thought about doing that. Maybe someday I will. Because this is going to take a long time to dry. Especially because I can't just bear the heat down on it because the puddles are moved. I 
see if we can get the wife to come out here and give us a school update. Hang on, I'm gonna call her. Hey, this is gonna take a long time to dry. You wanna come give us a school update? You wanna take your clothes off? It's not that kind of show. Look at that. She's changing clothes. Why am I down here? That seems silly. Seems like the longest part of these kinds of projects is the drying time. No, if I had a, dry a drying box with a heat lamp and a fan, We could set this aside for the next portion. My God, I'm going to have one by next week. Or maybe I'll build one next week. That's what we'll do on next week's show. We'll build a drying box. I like that plan. Don't know where I'd put it. Especially with the humidity we have down here, everything would take forever to dry anyway. Chat room is quiet, so I don't have anybody to talk to. It's so exciting. Open the door. Uh, how you the sun beams the ground. Oh, That's fine. Okay. You keep that thing just right there. You can sit right here and talk to that Ken. But okay. I don't know if they'd be able to hear you because the microphone's right here. Yeah. Or you could sit. Okay. Which way? That's the camera that you're looking at. Where are wolves? There are wolves. I don't want to yell over that. Why well, you gotta be loud? I'm not here and talk to you. Be loud. Hi everybody. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Can they hear me? These green things are going up and down. Yes, that could be that. Here's the microphone. 
not necessarily need to hold the microphone, but um, not a ton has changed between last week and this week, but every day gets a little bit better in paradise. So uh, the kids are working in fifth grade on a science unit. They have a state test coming up. And so we're looking at the photographs of Angel Adams and studying how he treated light and form and captured the landscapes. Right now they're doing the what they consider the boring part of it because there's a worksheet and everything that the district has put together that they have to go through. And then we'll shift really quickly back to the collage that they were doing that had sandwiches and um, more fun. And then we'll shift back to the landscapes because there's no reason to study it and not do it. So some of them were pretty bummed out that we shifted gears. Uh, fourth grade has just finished up a, uh, an invention machine uh, drawing where they were having to invent a machine that would dispense different things. So we studied the way that gumball machines and those little prize machines were set up and then they had to use some of their one point perspective and background, foreground, middle ground details and things. Uh, it's difficult because with these groups, I expect them to know certain terms and things, and I'm finding out that there's a little bit of difference in how things were taught, which is fine, but I find myself reteaching things that I thought they would know or that they did know, and they're looking at me like they've never heard it. Uh, so we've, we've hit that struggle, but we're getting through it. Uh, they will be studying Peter Max and creating kind of a tie work where they're collaging so it'll be tie shaped just near the end of the year which is kind of fun and they'll tie in some of the standard Peter Max themes like bright colors and celestial cosmic elements, stars, moons, things like that but make it their own as well. So it'll be a collage piece and it's going to be you know pretty big about 12 by 18 is what they start with and they kind of whittle it down. Then uh, third grade just finished theirs, and they were doing Peter Max style uh, landscape. So just learning radial balance and symmetry and use of other elements and having to repeat something over and over again and how to do color blending. We kind of focused on that so that they could get that technique down. We started with crayon, and we'll try it with paint eventually so that they can kind of experiment with how difficult that process is, but also how fun. Um, I'm having to do this backwards in my head, I'm sorry. Second grade is learning about wax resist and how we can use something as simple as a crayon, a white crayon or even a non-colored crayon wax uh, to create a resist and block the paper. So they're doing watercolor on top of that and we're doing the standard fish shape that we've done before in my former school with designs and patterns in it so that uh, they have a little bit more ownership of it and it also forces them to work big because I have to have it fill the eight and a half by eleven paper and so they're they're working on that. Some groups are finished, some groups are not. And there's also all these field trips and things that are keeping them out of class with me. So we're working on that. Kindergarten and first grade are studying texture and how they can apply it and what implied texture is and how to do texture rubbings. And then they're doing kind of abstract designs right now. We're going to work it into a monster. So they're going to do these large papers where they have this monster shape. And we'll do something silly like get them dice and say, okay, if you roll a two, then you have to add a horn. If you have a three, then you have to add a second foot. If you just something to kind of help them because if they say you make a monster, they're going to be this size and they're going to be this size and they're going to be too skinny to add anything in. So. I'm going to work with them on making them larger, and they're getting it, they're pretty smart, and they're going to fill in with all kinds of texture rubbings so that he looks like he has scales and uh, feathers and whatever else we can add in there. We may even collage some things in. But that's just kind of where they are. Black rubbing. Huh? Black rubbing. You like what? You like rubbings? And then, um, <coughs> nah. um, tomorrow evening, while he is figure drawing, I will be hanging up uh, the district show for the end of the year, and I'll have 30 pieces at our district office where 
the kids' work will be on display for a little while, or actually over the summer months, and I'll have kind of a mix of everything that they've done. Um, I'm hoping next year it'll be even stronger, because this year it was kind of like, wow, I don't know, what, okay, a little bit of this, and oh my goodness, a little bit of that, and a lot of the same thing, which I don't like. So we're working on a little more variety for them uh, for next year, but I feel pretty comfortable with how it rolls out now, and I understand where the deadlines are instead of finding out the week before, uh, so that will help. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm sleepy. Uh, I'm good. Um, what else? I don't know. I can't read any of that. Is the chat not working? No, I can't tell if the chat working sir. or not. The only one in the chat room is Dale Klein, but Kimberly keeps bouncing in and out, and I've seen a couple of others bouncing in and out. I suspect that the chat is not working. I don't know. Out. Ustream has been having issues. I've been thinking about moving to Twitch, but I don't know. <laughs> That's the problem. There's <clears throat> almost 600, over 600 videos. They say the letter U stream. But you know, they link back to the artistic backer slash U stream, which I could easily make that link jump to the Twitch page. Who knows what kind of fun we'll have in store for you soon. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I lost some train of thought. I'm, I may be on the edge of brain deadness. So, <laughs> after, after today, but the kids were really good and we're, um, we're doing okay, so it's nice. I love what I do. Just have to keep saying that. I love what I do. We have what I do. I love what I do. And I don't know. I feel like I'm talking to myself, which I do. That seems silly. No, you're talking. You're talking to the recording. I am talking to the recording. Hello, recording. Because it'll go on YouTube. And then tens of people will watch it. Tens of people. And go, look at that crazy lady. I don't know. <laughs> it's um. Teacher Appreciation Week. And so, every day there's a little something. It's not quite what I'm used to, but it's still very nice to be thought of. Uh, today, the PTO, the PTO brought breakfast tacos for everybody. We're supposed to be taking a cruise around tomorrow. Some of the students are bringing snappy, salty things like chips and pretzels and and they, they're all writing letters to their teachers, and then Wednesday we'll get sweet things, and then Thursday I think there's barbecue that admin is bringing in Caribbean jerk barbecue, and um, yeah, I can't remember what's happening Friday, but it's, it's kind of cool just to be there. Some of the kids are like, what? What are you talking about? We're supposed to bring you things? Aren't you supposed to bring us snacks? And we were like, hold on, wait a minute. So the whole teacher appreciation and appreciate your teacher, that was lost on them. So it was kind of funny to hear someone go, wait a minute, when do we get snacks? And I'm like, you get snacks all the time. But it was funny. They're funny. Are you done yet? I'm about to take paper towel to it. How much longer? I'm, I'm going to set it aside while I do the next part, and then I'm, and then I'm going to jump into I'm it. Helping. And then I'm going to take a paper towel to it. Okay. I'm going to put it in the sun. Yes. There's all kinds of sun outside. I should put it out there good. Okay. I was talking about... You missed it. Saved well, you from the hair dryer. You missed it a minute ago. I was talking about adding a... Uh, building a drying box with a heat lamp and a fan. I could slide it up into while I moved on to the next part. That'd be great. Don't be hateful. You're a hateful person. I wasn't hateful. I said that'd be great. You're a hateful person. Thank you. Uh huh. Really pretty. Uh huh. Let's see. Where were we? Let's go back to this camera. Okay. So I have this old sketchbook that I that I found. It's still inside but outside at the same time. 
Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Here we go. Okay, we're at bar. Now I can't look at the page and see if it'll. Okay, we're going to pretend like it's going to work. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, I've been reading at my daughter's request the BFG. The Big Friendly Giant. And, you know, it's an interesting book. It's kind of, you know, it's a little, it's just a little bit below my my normal fare but I mean it's not Harry Potter But it had an interesting had an interesting phrase in it that I wanted to uh, I wanted to play with, and so I thought that I would spend a few minutes illustrating it, have a little fun with it, you know. What did I miss, Kimberly? You missed the teacher update. You missed. You missed my beautiful young bride was out here giving the whole teacher update. We took the background, put it out in the sun because she's pretty smart. Coming up with ideas like that. Now, we've moved to the illustration portion. You missed the, the whole beginning of the, of the show where I complained about whoever it was that did last week's show didn't bother cleaning up after themselves. And left a whole pit in here of of uh, debris for me to work around, which I didn't think that was right. knocking stuff all over the table. What'd you say? Ustream being a pain in the butt? Hat was you? Oh, yes. Yes. I understand that it was me. That doesn't make it better. I I I fully understand that it was me. 
that that doesn't make it better. This is not, this is not wet media paper, so it won't stand up very well to this wet media at all. So I have to go real light, real light with what I do with the watercolor. trying to hurry I'm not I'm not really in a rush as much as I just want to I guess I just want to make this quick Well, let's move to the brush pen. That's right, blame someone else. That's just it. There's no one else to blame. <laughs> but not only is there not only is there no one else to blame. Not only is there no one else to blame, there's no one else to make clean it up. Can't talk, Harding. Forgot what I was doing for a minute there. I let my lines get away from me. Put the lines on the bottom thicker than the lines on the top. To add weight to your drawing. But I wasn't paying attention. we go. I like that. That looks like fun. I'm using up. Why are you outside the Chickasha Library? Why don't you go inside the library? 
Ooh, traffic accident. Yeah, that looks like fun. Now we'll cut that out. And with any luck, it'll fit on our page because the page wasn't here. We didn't have we didn't have the page in here to measure it against because we set the page out in the sun to dry because it was taking forever with the blow dryer. Free Wi-Fi. Kimberly lives in the town that I just moved away from. She's in the chat room telling me about it. And I remember driving past that library. The library over here around us, I think they turn their Wi-Fi off at night. But the library there leaves the Wi-Fi on 24-7. And so any time of the day or night, you can see somebody. You can see the little blue, the little glow of blue screens of somebody sitting outside trying to do their, trying to check their email or Facebook or YouTube or World of Warcraft or whatever it is people do. thought that was interesting that how people did that used to be bushes in the front of the library and all you could see all you would see was the screens glowing from behind the bushes but I guess that got kind of dangerous carried away Yeah, but Kimberly, I think the ones here, at least the at least the library around over here close to my house, I think they turn their Wi-Fi off at night because you never see you don't you don't see that here. razor blade. I should have used my knife. Fussy cutting always irritates me. I can do it, but it has always irritated me even since I was a little kid. rather use a razor blade it has greatly affected my collage abilities
There we go. Got those things cut out. Got a hanging Mickey D's. I don't know. It seems like people around here are kind of not too big on sharing their interwebs. not quite dry but it's probably dry enough for our efforts dry enough to let us move on to the next step so, shoot the first thing we got to do is figure out if the giant's even going to fit on the page Just barely. I don't know. Maybe I want to. That's what I envisioned him doing was going across two pages. And then where'd Sophie go? Having Sophie right down here. That'll work. All right, where's my Mod Podge? My punch, my punch, my punch, my punch. Ah. All right. <laughs> that got the dogs excited. Let loose the dogs of war. Drop your paper dolls. All right, let's see here. I'm just going to spread a little glue on them. A little glue, just enough to make him stick, All right? There we go. Okay. There's that. Is that a tiny bear? No. It's a little girl. It's a little girl. This is when you find out exactly where all of your wet paint was. Because this is where it mixes in with your Mod Podge and ruins your collage. Right there. <laughs> Right there. If you missed it. All 
All right. Let's dry those things down. That won't take as long to dry as the background did. Especially because we can turn the blower up all the way. on time. 7.30, we have plenty of time. Plenty of time. Probably should have been one of those little monkey things that dance. That would have been funny. Off topic. Off topic. But you know, funny. Somehow we're not we're not really known for staying on topic around here anyway. It's just not, it's just not really our thing, is it? Must be a basketball game tonight. My neighborhood kids out here get really excited about the basketball games. I mean, really excited. So they're, they're already out there playing, waiting patiently for the game to start. And I'm all in here like, I don't even know who's playing. I have no idea. I think it's the Rockets. But I don't know who else. That's, that's, I think that's exactly what I was going for right there. So let's get a brush we can do some lettering with. Not sure I can do lettering with this brush. This is too long of a brush. Yeah, it's too big, of a, too long of a brush. I can't read it. 
don't have enough control to make it legible. Can't talk, parting. Paraphrase. But it says, use the brush pen, brush pen of doom. It says, when she asked him how he caught the dreams, he said, I listens for them and then reaches for them. And then he says, I listens for them, and then I reaches for them. And I thought, you know, that's pretty profound. Hang on a second. Hi, Leanne. Diane. Usually I think Rogue Doll and and it's not any different in this in this book. Usually I think the books are a bit trite. But I thought this I thought this part of it was pretty profound. You know I can't talk and do this at the same time.
Can't talk. Harding. So entertaining. So entertaining. Here we go. Calling it done. Gets my point across. Okay, so when she asked him how he caught the dreams, he said, I listens for them and I reaches for them. He's got these big ears. He's got this net and a jar to keep the dreams in. And I thought, you know what? That's pretty profound. Listen for them and then reach for them. Listen for the dreams and then reach for them. I thought, you know, when I read that, I thought, that's just pretty profound. And so that's what I decided to paint about tonight. So there we go. That. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. You know, this is my favorite night of the week when I get to art with my besties. And... Uh, look forward to it every week. Be sure and tune in next week. Same artistic biker time, same artistic biker channel. And uh, we're going to put this straight on the YouTube hair drying and all. So with that, we're going to dance because that's how we know that everybody has had a chance to see the love. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Yeah. And then we dance. We do it until somebody says they see us dancing. Nobody's going to say they see us dancing because the only one in the chat room talking is Kimberly. Hey, dancing. All righty. <laughs> probably should flip over to here and see what you see oh, there you know what there's not much lag tonight at all. <laughs> 